everybody. Pookie TV X. Common Sense. This is the interview I just heard. Um, with Danny Boy. Talking about the Snoop shit and Jeff Rose. You know shit he's been talking about ever since. He, uh, just stop. Danny Boy. Just got to stop, please. You're looking crazy. You keep talking in the circles, telling the same shit. Just get it. Go out and get it, my nigga. Go out and get it. I know you got access to get to something to reach that nigga. Stop goddamn trying to call all these people for your shit. Go get it. You're doing all this shit, man. And, 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 and. You say all these fucking things and you expect somebody to do right. Like, I mean, I get what you're saying. You, you, I get what you're saying about it, man. You should be, because you wasn't part of death row. You damn sure was part of death row. That shit is true. You damn sure was, nigga. But, once, I don't know. I don't even want to say it, but, fuck it. Once your situation came to light, I, I, I mean, they probably started to think, rewind the shit in their head about how you was acting. And plus this, I mean, it's out there. Everybody know about it, right? What you gay, bisexual, whatever. Why don't you call your crew? They wrecking shit. Your crew is wrecking shit. LBGTQ and NMNP and them. They, 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 they got it. Have you reached out? You, you need to go to the next Pride. You need to go talk to the head person at the Pride. And you need to go tell them, tell them your grievances. Tell them what the fuck going on and how they treating you out there. Because they out there, they out there, they, man, they out there tearing it up. They done body so many, you know, the people they done made a pack. Hmm? Uh, you might have to call them fucking reinforcements, man. Because Snoop, Snoop smoking this shit, he ain't even remembering the shit you talk about, man. Especially if you ain't, if you ain't around him all the time. He really ain't gonna remember, man. He been smoking weed just goddamn. Come on, man. Them brain cells out there. You should know that. It's not bitter as fuck, man. You too grown, too old for this shit, man. I hear with this shit, man. Go to him, say something. You can reach him. Shit don't make no sense, man. You out here, every time you go to the interview, you saying something about somebody. Every time. Oh, let me see what this nigga, fruity ass nigga, talk about now. Yeah, that, that's my uh, month, monthly salmon. salmon, salmon. <laughs> I lost my monthly um, salary because Snoop Dogg was doing this with Death Row. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Shit. And now all of a sudden he claiming he got there in Chicago so goddamn hard because of all this shit. Now he just need part of him. Shut the fuck up, nigga. You was barely in goddamn Chicago. Fuck that dumb ass shit that you were talking about like, in the Chicago shit. You was screaming fucking uh, L.A. Death Row, nigga. Shit the fuck is you talking about? And then at the end of his shit, he was trying to, like, he was just uh, smooth it over with Snoop. He, I'm not talking about, this is different, this is business. Shut up. Snoop ain't no business with you and goddamn, I don't even think never. Shit, you can't talk about this goddamn stupid ass shit. Shit, you better go to college and goddamn people. Holler at your goddamn people. They will have your goddamn back. You will be in more, more doors than you ever could imagine. You ever could imagine. I'm pretty sure. If you go and, and, and you go to that pray, um, pride shit, whenever they doing, you know, when they be all on the floats and shit and high heels and makeups and shit out there and have just sickness. I mean, not sickness. I'm sorry. Well, oh, fuck it. It's sickness. I'm just gonna keep it real. It's sickening and it's fucking disgusting. And I'm with God when I say that. So I'm right with him. Jesus Christ and him. That's what I'm with. And he says it's okay. Just to stand on yours about that. And I do. But you need to go holler. Go holler. If you can't get in contact with nobody here, go holler at RuPaul. 
I'm pretty sure they can somebody can get you in contact with RuPaul. And once you get in contact with RuPaul, she can get you where you need to be, my nigga. She can get you where you need to be. She might ask for a little couple of sexual gifts, a couple of favors. But I'm sure it won't, it won't bother you. Huh? Right? It won't bother you, man. She's trying to help. When you sit up here, keep you know, you got that interview and just over and over, just whining and bitching, whining and bitching. I'm sorry, you do sound like a woman, man. I know, think about it. Every time you talk, I just hear wah 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 and this is, and, and I remember being in the first parts of Death Row. And um, me and Suge Knight and everybody, we said, I was on all, all of them songs. My nigga, stop saying it on, and go say it to the person that the people need to say it to. Go visit Suge. Go visit him. Have you been? No, you haven't. You haven't. Just too much bitching and whining, man. I mean, this nigga be on here. Every time you click on, you see his shit, watch what's gonna happen. I was thinking he gonna come on, he say something different. And he go right back to what, to, to some shit in the fucking 94. That shit is over. It's been over. And he go right back. I, I'm do some publishers, I'm gonna do some royalties. Bro. I didn't get that. 62 cents for the songs I got. Who far is that, my nigga? Talking about his business shit, we'll go handle business. It's always loopholes. Especially, the fuck you may have with all bitches, you go holler at your people. They don't care what it is, no matter what, you're going to get whatever. And it's going to be substantial. They're going to bless you. But like I said, you have to do a couple of sexual favors to a few people, but you know that's what you do anyway. So, that shouldn't bother me none. You, they will take care of you. You will be embraced. And you may even have a Netflix. You may even have a goddamn tour across the world again. You have a Netflix. You'll have your restaurant booming. Everything you need. And you won't have to worry about that shit no more. But see, you're on the fence. You still think you're gangster. And you're not. And then you, but then you don't want them to think you're too a bitch. But that's already been proven. Right? So, get off of this. Fall over to your people. You hear me? Fall over to your people. And let them handle your shit. Tell them you need help. You want to tell them just go in and just drop down. I need guidance. I've been trying to try and do things the right way. And, I, and nobody helping me out with what I got going on. Well, don't worry about it, daddy boy. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll take care of it. Would you want us to cancel anybody? Stop bitching, my nigga. Please. It's ridiculous. You looking goddamn... I don't even know. A bitter bitch. I, I mean, there's no other way to put it. Every time you on these shows... Well, I've been on six or seven songs, and I ain't got nothing for nothing. And yeah, I did. I was on there with Jonesy and everybody, and I didn't get to get nothing. And yeah, I mean, Snoop barely even talked to me to do no business, and I just want to do business. <laughs> you need to stop. Holler at your people. Go see what they do for you, man. They'll take you, they'll take you right on in. No, if it has a bust about it, you'll be down with the team. They'll take good care of you. So you won't have to be on here bitching. Every single time. You always come into this point where you just, where you just being played. In 94. Nigga, please. Common sense.